All right, so here is what it looks like right now. Like, ah, uh, this seat is gonna be yellow. I still gotta spray paint this the same blue. I'm gonna take care of that when I take care of the seat. We are gonna get a cover for this because this is completely, uh, it's not paint, it's not uh, plastic dippable or paintable. So they do sell a, uh, like a sleeve, if you will. And so, yeah, so it, it looks really good. Now, like in certain angles, like you could see lines but it's okay though you know up oh, that's a perfect example like like that and so that is all but this is mainly going to be covered with decals i messed up right here when i installed this back on it rubbed against that and so yeah i messed up on that but yeah this thing is actually this thing is actually looking really really good it's looking really really good and i cannot wait to have this complete like that yellow seat is going to change everything and luckily they did make these like they still have these in stock so that's great the exact shape i need and so yeah it looks good hey guys so just so you guys know this video is coming up next the milwaukee m12 hammer drill versus the dewalt extreme hammer drill i want to test out the five amp hour battery to see if it improves the hammer drill and we're also going to use a six amp hour battery on the milwaukee so please subscribe to the channel for that but this video is weeks in the process all right so i bought this wave runner from a god uh, now he's a friend he uh, i got it from joe uh, he also has a youtube channel called joe snowmobiles and what he does is he but he buys broken stuff fixes them up, then he sells them, which is, it's a good way to do business. It's a good way of actually working with your hands. And it's uh, you know, like, th that's what this channel does. It's a tool channel. You use tools for these projects. All right, I do apologize for majorly slacking on the channel. Uh, this Wave Runner has been consuming a lot of my time because I just wanted to get it right and I want to get it done as fast as possible because, you know, summer's here and I want to be able to use this thing. And luckily I did get it running. But when it comes to uh, my new friend, Joe, I seriously, uh, I'm gonna invite him on the channel to do some versus videos with me. I think it'll be fun to do. I'll put the link of his channel in the description below. And so, yeah, so I thank you so much, Joe, for uh, helping me out with this Wave Runner, uh, giving me advice on what to do because of your experience. And yeah, you are the man and hope you save travels back from Florida. When it comes to this Wave Runner, I finally got the goal and I got this thing running. Now I'm just gonna let you guys know, I still need to do some things to it because I did take the, I did take it out in the water and I tried to start it. It needs, it still needs, uh, still needed a little help, but I fried the starter. The starter's from 1997, so that, that's, that's an eventuality. So I did order another starter. It's only $50 for a brand new one, and so that should be in the mail soon. But I did my goal, and so now I actually get to do this video because I got this thing running and running well. Just unfortunately, through the times of me trying to start it for the past couple of weeks, I fried the starter. But here's the footage of that, and I thank you guys so much. Alrighty, guys, so for the next couple of weeks, what we are going to do is we are going to take a little adventure, and we are going to completely take apart this uh, 1997 Polaris 780 Wave Runner. As you see, I've been working on it already because I, I tried to... Ooh, all the oil seeped in right there, which is a good thing, so it's not completely uh, seized up. All the oil went through all of them, except for this one, but recently it has, so hopefully that piston, uh, I could crank this now after I get the impeller shaft off, which is right there, and it goes all the way to the end. This thing is awesome. I bought this for $360. The, the, this is going to be blue, pearl, this is going to be pearl blue, this is going to be pearl white pearl white i'm going to paint this trim black and so yeah all these decals need to be removed and it is great and i am using the hilti to do this task because uh 12 volt tools is actually going to do the trick so this is not a big engine at all this is probably like about i do not know what the weight but i've seen uh, a couple people in videos actually take the engine out by hand 
they just got to take off a couple of parts then the rest of it comes out and so yeah so i do have to check the electronics the starter does work the trim does work and so yeah so this is a bad man pajama with plenty of storage space i do have the storage plastic right there now remember if i need to buy parts which i which i already bought all new gaskets which those are coming soon if i need to buy parts for this it's going to be totally worth it because i'm only 360 dollars in the hole so far and there isn't much to actually buy because you could actually buy these parts for cheap on ebay or amazon We have four more uh, bolts to do, then we should be able to take this out, uh, take this whole unit out and slide it. Just uh, the engine came just came in. It looks completely clean. All right, and I just want to show you, all of them turn very, very smoothly with very little effort. So we are good to go on this motor. Yeah, they're all moving very easily. So yay. When it comes to this engine core, I bought this off of eBay, uh, the core, I, I still have the original core. Right, so when it comes to my original core, I really need to uh, get it back into the operational state. And But it's uh, when it comes to the work and time, I do not want to do that right now. I do want to, I was still working on that core, I want to get everything shining and I want to get everything running smooth. But uh, I did order a new core from Mater's Motorsports. Well, that's one thing that they do is they refurbish these, uh, whatever it is that, th that they have, and they make it to where it's operational. like a shellac or a, a thin gasket so that
Alrighty, so let's put this stator on. That looks just about right. All right, next we gotta get the housing. <coughs> next we gotta get the housing on. All right, and so what this does? All right, so the the starter gets uh, the starter gearing gets attached to this, and then the starter uh, does its thing and it twists this and it extends this out. As you can see, it expands. So yeah, then this gets into the flywheel, then it's, uh, then yeah. Got a good sealer on there. This can go in its spot now. That rotates just fine. So yeah, so that is done. I gotta find the cap for that. I got these from Jawsy's Power Sports, so yeah, I seriously thank them for even having them in stock.
what what I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm connecting the stator to the board. So the stator that uh, you saw me install, I got to connect these wires to the board properly, and let's just assume that I that I'm going to do this correctly. I think that's how that goes. I think that's how that goes. Put the stator, all the wires are connected. So I think I did the research. I think that's how that goes. Alrighty, so I did get this started yesterday. All the wiring is done. It's put to it's put back together correctly. But the issue is I have no fuel in my lines yet. Put some premix fuel right here. It started up and it ran, but as soon as that burnt up, it stopped. So that just tells me that my fuel lines are not primed at all. And so what I want to do is I want to actually install this uh, primer bulb about right here. So I can actually feed the line some fuel so I could just, you know, get the lines good to go. Then this started up. Alrighty, so what I did, what I did is I installed a bulb pump to the Wave Runner. Uh, everything... It is full. Uh, the fuel, the, uh, the engine has fuel now. I just got to uh, put the, the CDI box back together and uh, put the, uh, the cables in their proper spot so they're just not uh, flinging around everywhere. But I did get the Wave Runner running. As you can see the wave runner now runs it needs to clear out a lot of stuff and so yeah but mission accomplished the wave runner runs alrighty so let's uh, show you what I accomplished Yes, I did. I got the hydro turf in. So yeah, it's it's gonna look good, man. It's gonna look good. Awesome. All right, so there you go, you guys. Like, I still have to put decals on this. I still, uh, I'm still trying to find a kit. If you guys know of a good, uh, of a good online store to where they sell, where they sell. Uh, good wave runner decals let me know because i've searched amazon and ebay and it's it's mainly yamaha that they sell i want something unique and different and, and it doesn't cost too much and i am changing the seat to to be a yellow seat uh i gotta order the vinyl and so it's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome wave runner it's gonna it's gonna run great you know the engine runs great i i just fried the starter out you know That's it, I fried the starter, which that's inevitable. And so I got a new one coming, that's, but the, uh, it's very easy to actually swap out the starter itself, but the pain in the butt is getting to it. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break from that. I was thinking uh, that part's not gonna be here for another week or so. And my new friend Joe said he'll help me out with that. And I actually have some tools for him. He loves Ryobi, so I can't wait to actually let him pick uh, what tools that he wants. And so, yeah, it's going to be good. It is going to be good. And like I said, I do want to invite Joe onto this channel and we could do some versus videos together because it would be nice to be able to, to uh, it would be nice to do two actual tools side by side uh, competing against each other. And I'm sorry for not going live. When it comes to live, I'm really not a big fan of that anymore. And so, yeah, so I like doing these videos. I like doing the, the edit to where it's, it's straight to the point. And so that's, that's what I like to do. There are plenty of other tool channels that go live. And so the, uh, they can own that. And so I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I'm just not a fan of going live. So when it comes to uh, membership for the channel, it really is useless when it comes to getting any perks. Uh, but yeah, but it's just there to support the channel and I seriously appreciate all you guys were almost at 43,000 subscribers and it's it's great. It's great. I'm just I'm so sorry for slacking on the channel for the past while. No, I'm very sorry, but now you guys see what I was doing, you know, plus other stuff too, just not the wave runner. I was doing other stuff along with that. So 
but the channel is going to be back on track and it's going to be good because uh, it feels good to be in the garage. As you can see, I completely cleaned up the garage. It hasn't been clean like this in a long time. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.